How's it going everyone? Uh, we're back with another unboxing of the H110i GTX water cooling system. Um, this guy is basically the 110i just has a, a slight difference between them. The main key difference is the tubing. Slightly thicker diameter, uh, a little bit better. Um, also, the positioning. Instead of being on the side of the block, it's actually on the top. So, if you let's say you have a, a board that's very tight, you could get that in there without having to change your rams into the different slots to accommodate for the hoses and stuff like that, which is quite nice. Uh, I was sold on that for that reason. Um, everyone pushed me to it for twenty dollars more. Might as well go big, go home, right? Um, so yeah, uh, let's get into this guy real quick and we'll go from there. So we're just gonna quickly make an insertion here. Do, oh, is that my monitor? <laughs> Stick this guy, take it all apart. Sorry, bumping the microphone. I'm trying to do this as best as possible. <laughs> So there we go. Um, let's see here, do I have to make any cuts along this guy? Uh, I don't think so. I think we can just crack it open. Oh, maybe. Nope. Just, ah, just crack it open. <laughs> so yeah, once again, like of course, there power supply um, basically opens up like that. Alright, um, so first things first, obviously you got your manual, explain how everything works, then you got a little notification, oh, warranty, warranty once again, uh, this time I didn't get extended for this guy just because, well, I didn't, and he unfortunately can't with water cooling with us, no biggie, all good, uh, throw that off to the side for now, now we'll get into the actual guy. So this bad boy harnesses two 140 mil fans, so at 280 millimeters across. Um, I try to get it in the frame as best as possible because this is a big guy. Um, you got your uh, two fans here, so all your stuff here. Let me move this over just a slight bit, it's just so we're in the center here. Your two fans of 100. 40 mils. I said 280. I had to do the math. My apologies. So yeah, uh, that's awesome there. Um, let's toss these to the side for now. Just because well, we got to. Uh, now we're getting into the actual device. Oh, sorry. You got your kits, your mounting brackets, stuff like that. So you can do your AMDs, your Intel's 1155's, 1150's, 2011's, 2011v3's, anything and everything you could think of, pretty much you can throw this guy on there. Um, very nice, you got all your screws and all that stuff to mount the fans on the rad and everything. Um, pretty sure the USB cable is in here as well. Maybe, ah, uh, yeah, there it is. So the USB cable to link your power supply and your computer and all that stuff. So yeah, that's awesome. Throw this down there for now. Anything else I should be knowing about in here? Um, other than that cable? No, just the rad. All right. So we gotta be delicate as possible with this guy just because it is water cooling systems and stuff like that. Uh, got nothing in here. So I'll we'll throw this guy off to the side. We go now we get into the unit itself so um, fairly big unit like I said the cords are slightly bigger diameter um, oh this does have thermal paste on it awesome good to know uh, by the way if you guys ever need to get this stuff off or the one on your previous processor uh, what we do is rubbing alcohol it's the best way to get it. Just a little bit on a paper towel, rub it off, make sure it's nice and clean because you want to put new paste on well, your new system. You don't want to use the old stuff because it's going to dry. Uh, once again, no bigger than a pea size just because, well, if you use too much, it's going to spread all over and then just make a mess, right? So, yeah. Um, you got your all your connections here. You got your fan connections or well, your LED connections. 
learn as I go. <laughs> um, da -da -da -da. Not sure. Maybe. Oh, maybe these are for the two one eighty uh, one forty mil fans. Um, your SATA connection to power the water pump. So in a sense, just to plug it in SATA and good to go. Um, ch -ch -ch. Fan headers. That's pretty much it. Then now you got the actual water block. This uh, is bigger than I thought. Holy man, he is quite a big one. Um, as it goes on top of the actual Corsair logo, I'm not sure how mendable this guy right here. The Corsair logo does light up with RGB uh, LEDs, so you've got a whole variety of different, well, colors, I guess, is the, what I was looking for. Um, now we got the actual rad itself, which is, once again, very, very nice. It's got very nice fins set up. All that stuff, very easy, very nice. Um, definitely worth getting if you got the hundred and eighty dollars I spent on this guy. I, I, I kind of a little bit exaggerated that price. I actually spent like one sixty, one seventy for this guy. It's gonna be definitely a day and night difference for me, for sure. Because well, when I'm running a stock heatsink on an Intel thirty eight twenty K, and that sitting it's running 50 degrees so yeah it gets a little warm but as it goes i'm gonna be able to overclock like crazy with this guy and i'm happy so yeah that's it for this day i hope you enjoy always leave a comment below ask any questions you like i'll try to answer as best as my humanly possible thank you and always have a great time peace